More bad news for the mother of missing Kaylee Anthony. Reports say preliminary tests show strands of hair found in the family car match Kaylee's DNA. But Diane McInerney reports her grandmother continues to believe the little girl is alive somewhere and she has a message for America. Cindy, what is your appeal to America? Kaylee is alive and I need each and every individual to do their part as if it was their own child, grandchild, niece, nephew, loved one of any sort, do whatever it would take to go and look for this child. It's a dramatic plea to the nation. Missing Kaylee Anthony's grandmother is imploring America to continue the search for the missing three-year-old, despite mounting evidence that she is dead. You still believe that Kaylee is alive? Absolutely. With every ounce of my being, I believe that Kaylee is alive. I'm not in denial. I know my granddaughter. I have my faith in God. I know my daughter. And I know Kaylee's out there. She says authorities are focused on blaming Kaylee's mother, Casey Anthony. Anthony, but she believes someone out there has information that can break the case open. She has stolen everybody's hearts in America, and I need them to love her like I love her and bring her home back to us. And she revealed Beth Twitty, mother of missing teenager Natalie Holloway, is joining the search. What was your reaction when you heard from Beth Holloway Twitty? I cried. I cried because she feels my pain and I feel her pain. Cindy Anthony says she's decided to come out of seclusion following news reports that the FBI has reached the conclusion that Kaylee is dead. New forensic tests show hair found in the trunk of Casey Anthony's car came from a dead body. That hair is believed to be Kaylee's. The tests were performed here at a special FBI lab in Tennessee known as the Body Farm. It's the latest indication Kaylee may not be alive. Former One Day at a Time star Mackenzie Phillips is now out of jail after being arrested for allegedly possessing cocaine and heroin.